my name is uh, Mike Kostelitz, and I have been, I'm a theoretical physicist at Brown University in the United States, and I have been, I'm a condensed matter physicist. In my younger days, I was a very enthusiastic rock climber, and my, that was actually my main interest, but um, I, I managed to do some physics on the side, and that, those were the days when I w did my best work, because the combination of uh, rock climbing and so on, uh, somehow it, it cleared the mind, you know, I could let my mind wander and, and think, and that's how I did my, my you know, could, could come up with these neat ideas, because uh, you know, it was when a, a stage of my life and no responsibilities, and you know, I could let my mind wander. Doing uh, you know advanced physics or you know new physics, you are basically wandering in some completely unknown field with no guide, no directions, and nobody's telling you what to do, what not to do. And it's, it's all a matter of luck. And, you know, you, in, in doing, doing, doing physics research, you know, at the, at the frontier, you have to get used to the fact that it's, it's going to be 95% failure. And if you're lucky, 5% success. You know, because you, you, you start a problem, you look, you look at a problem and either you can't do it or you do do it, but it turns out to be irrelevant. Then you, you know, nobody ever hear, you never hear about that problem again. Um, I just happen to be very lucky. Now this, this piece of research I did, which was purely theoretical, was it was, a, I thought it was an interesting problem and I did it for fun, turned out to have, be important and have lots of applications. But when I was doing it, I had no idea that it was going to turn out to be important. Well, the only message that I like to give young, young scientists is do, do the science, but do it because you find it fun. Because you, if you don't find it fun, it's not worth doing. You know, because at a young age, you have lots and lots of choices about what you do and you should follow what you enjoy. You know, because if you enjoy um, a particular field, then you'll be self-motivated and will you know, stu study it out of your own uh, interest and curiosity. Um, and you know, a lot of kids, they like their main objective in life is to have fun. That was my main objective when I was young. The way I work is that I think of some, you know, small problem that, that is fun. And uh, sometimes I can solve it, sometimes I can't. And it just happened that um, one of the problems I solved turned into something big, became important. Uh, but, you know, I had no idea that I was going to do that when I was doing the work, you know, I did the work because it was fun. The public really has to be educated in, in the, you know, what science does, what it can do, what it can't do. And, uh, but that, that education has to start at a very young age. You know, the, the best time to start interesting people in science is when they're about five years old. <laughs> And so it seems to me that to get people interested and to under, interested in and to understand science, you have to start, uh, it, you know, with education from a very young age. Now, don't push too much, but just try to interest young kids in in, in science.